Hi guys, welcome back to WePlaySSG and this time we have an unboxing for Aeon's and Buried Secrets So this is an expansion uh, by Kevin Riley so, and published by Indie Bots and Cards So yeah, this is basically an expansion for uh, the legacy game for Aeon's and So yeah, as you can see, it should have the same ratings uh, over here Plays for about 60 minutes over here, yeah so it just 14 and up, plays for 1 to 4 players and this is the back of the box so basically this is an expansion for the Aeon's End uh, but I think this is not compatible with the Legacy game, I think yeah, remember reading that somewhere yeah, oh so you actually as you can see here, this is, not, this is an expansion Aeon's End War Eternal or Legacy is required to play yeah so I'm guessing it should work with any of the base game Not only like War Eternal Yeah, I think uh, I think the New Age or something like that is uh, Should be also uh, compatible with this But I think it's not here because at that point of time it, it wasn't out yet So yeah, this is a very old one So let's get uh, into this box Okay, so I'm guessing we have like a few more uh, cardboard tokens And yeah, not sure if we have the 2 out of 3 Nope, we don't So I would actually prefer like we have the 3 So that it's uh, easier And we have some turn order deck, okay So yeah, let's take a look at this card here so it's double sided, so these are the contents So you have a few gems, relic, spell cards and nemesis cards Nice, so I think these are the basic ones And we have a blitz turn order card Some shield, silence tokens and pulse tokens Yeah, so that's nice, I think maybe shields Oh, so silence is part of legacy only Yeah, seems like it so yeah, like this tree mechanism is uh, introduced in Legacy So I'm guessing the normal game doesn't have it, like the base game Yeah, so I think that's probably why they introduced uh, these tokens So we have uh, 8 shield tokens and 6 silence tokens and some pulse tokens So yeah, pulse token is basically it's like some sort of currency they can spend uh, Like certain cards users pulse token and certain card lets you gain pulse tokens so from there, uh, you can do like some uh, really cool combos or like attacks using pulse tokens if you start up enough of it. So yeah, that's nice. And I think Blitz token, uh, sorry, the Blitz turn order card is to like uh, increase like the difficulty of uh, the game itself. So let's take a closer look. Right, so okay. Uh, lots of dust with the boxes. Okay, so oh, there's only one turn order card, which is the blitz. So let's take a look at this first. So you can see, so the setup uses this card. We want to increase the difficulty of the nemesis and replace a nemesis turn order with this card. So the rules is that when this order card is drawn, resolve the main phase. Then resolve the nemesis turn as usual. This card counts as a nemesis turn order card. Yeah. So basically, uh, it's other than the nemesis turn itself, uh, which consists of a main phase. You are actually resolving the main phase uh, once more. So basically, in a round, there's uh two sorry three main phase uh, happening for the nemesis. So these do increase the difficulty uh quite a bit. Yeah, so actually every nemesis already has like a difficulty mode uh, Sorry, a more the increased difficulty mode So yeah, I think this will add on to the difficulty level And here we have our first spell, which is uh, Nerf Jet Yeah, this is actually a character from the legacy, so yes, okay So we can deal one damage and silence a minion, that's a very basic one And then we have, maybe let's put it here 
you have a precision shot link so two spells with link sorry right over here and two spells with link may be prepped to the same bridge oh nice so yeah basically if you have two of the cards we have which have this link word I, I guess you can prep it to the same bridge so that's deal two damage if there are six or more other cards in your discard pile deal two additional damage that's nice and then we have uh, a psychic eruption deal damage equals the number of cards in any player's discard wow that's really nice so you could be dealing like i don't know 10 plus damage if you time it right so but that's like it cost that's cool you know that's like really lots of damage so this is stunning force also again this is from the legacy game yeah so in the legacy game we actually we actually use this character in the other like warrior kind of character yeah the one that with the sword i think it will show up soon so back to this this is stunning force deal for damage to the nemesis oh so you can only aim the nemesis and silence a minion okay so we have our randomizer cards over here which uh, will be the same as all these uh, spell cards i mean the supply supply cards uh, that we have so this is the one that we used this one as well as the uh, mage looking one yeah so yeah we have these are our um, basic nemesis cards so this you can like mix with uh, any of the nemesis to play with it so this is spend six liter to discard it and this is the power that it resolves to so you have a minion very very nice art it's a strong commander so you have another attack so this is our tier one suppose three for each tier and one minion uh, armored haze that's cool so there's only one health but we have four shield so again if you are new to uh, this mechanism shield is basically uh, it reduces your damage done uh, to one and then it, it will just remove the the shield uh, one shield from the minion so basically any damage you do will only remove one shield as long as there's any shield on top you can't damage the the actual health here so we have uh, this is our tier 3 Oops. and we have another one and uh, one of these minion someone is tier 3 okay let's see this is a milk uh, shit this minion cannot be that damaged by spells cast from a uh, third bridge and it's unleashing it twice so yeah okay so I can get why this is a uh, tier 3 minion and then we have our blitz uh, turn order card for the nemesis so let's get on to the next pack mm, let's see maybe we should open this to continue with the spells okay this is a lot easier okay we have our first gem uh, yeah, I think some of it is here. So there's only three here. So this is Voidium Spike. Gain two either each ally may discard a card in hand and each ally that does gains a charge. Nice. So let's put it uh, here. And this is our Relic. So it's a Bottle Star. Gain three charges. That's nice. That's a lot of charges actually. So yeah, some characters only need like four. I think the minimum is four. And the max is probably six. So this is uh, 7 which costs a lot and let's see we have another relic living gauntlet you can reveal the top card of your deck and we destroy or discard it each ally may draw a card and each ally that does can discard a card in hand ok lots of uh, hand manipulation next we have the manifold container game 1 eater the next time you gain a card this turn you may also gain a card that costs less than a gain card nice so that's like getting another one for free so we have our scholars opus and gain one charge if there are seven or more cards in your discard pile gain one additional charge cool so again with all this expansion pack it's mostly more um more uh, cards yeah so this so-called 
uh, each player gains one power token. So yeah, this is where the power token is comes into play, and each player with two or more power token gains one charge. Nice. And next we have our spells. Is a blade of wisdom, and you gain this if there are seven or more other cards in your discard pile. Gain two life, deal five damage. Cool. So actually, this character uh, in the legacy game itself, I've also upgraded it uh, with uh, healing skills. So yeah. It's pretty cool here that it's also gaining, allowing you to gain uh, health. So there's a burning current. So uh, while prayer during your casting phase, you may lose two pulse tokens. So this is where you use, start to use your pulse tokens. If you do spells, you cast this turn, deal one additional additional damage. So deal one damage, gain one pulse token. Nice. So other than using it, it also allows you to gain uh, pulse tokens. This is deal one damage and deal one damage. So it's saying it twice because uh, usually damage in Aeon's end, you can't really split it. So if it's deal 4 damage, you have to deal it to the same uh, target. So in this case, you can uh, hit uh, different people. So effects and modify damage affect both instances of damage this spell deals. Oh, that's nice. So if anything that deals additional 1 damage, so this will total up to a total of 2 additional damage because it's dealing twice. That's nice. So that's our spell. One more. Oh, two more. So there's a draining touch. Uh, deal one damage and gain a charge. So simple. Because it's only two, only cost two. So there's actually, as you can see, <laughs> quite a lot of spells. Oh, so that's our another link spell. So it's probably best to have this and this uh, out together. So these are flash of intellect. Deal three damage. If there are six or more other cards in your discard power, you may gain a flash of intellect from the Supply and place it on top of your deck. Nice, nice. So yeah, that's cool. So you can like really have one player really gain lots of this. And like the only, the first one is for free. I mean, you only have to pay for the first one and the rest can potentially be free. Yeah, but you have to kind of gain it um, either in the middle of your deck or at it towards the end so that you don't miss the six or more uh, cards in your discard pile uh, requirement. So, so far we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 spells and uh, 5 relics so far. Yeah, usually there isn't as much a relic. There's usually more gems and spells. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, it's all gems here. So there's a Jolting Crust. So there's like a lot more like conditions here. In these cards for you to choose so you can either gain one pulse token or lose one to gain a charge so that's nice now put this aside think, yeah, these are the extra ones can put them together and it's always nice that they have like these numbers here uh, like sort of a serial number and it's different although it's the same card i mean the same type of gem which is nice i think I think it helps if like you don't really want to screw up your game or have any permanent changes like uh, putting stickers on it so you can actually if you want i think it's a more troublesome way but you can actually like uh maybe write it down somewhere uh like with this so that you can even know like who uh whose card uh, or which card uh actually have that specific um modified uh you know um, status yeah to the card Okay, so this is Mantide Chunk. Gain 3 Eater. If there are 7 or more cards in your discard pile, gain 1. Gain an additional 1 Eater. Cool. Yeah, so usually this kind you have to, although like it's a game that you don't need to shuffle, but you don't have to like time well, uh, like when you buy these uh, gems that like requires you to see like how much uh, cards you have in your discard pile. Yeah, so this is Muted Lacosite. Uh, when you gain this, silence a minion. Nice. Gain 3 Eater after that. So next we have Oblivium Resin. Uh, gain 2 Eater if you have 3 or more cards in hand that cost 0. Gain an additional 2. Okay, so yeah, so like for example this kind then you have to like kind of buy it. Uh, although it's 5, you kind of have to like try to buy it with uh, some sparks that you have. Or uh, some... Uh, starter gems 
yeah otherwise you will never ever use uh and, and it's and it's also because of the fact that you don't shuffle your deck so uh yeah so this is uh if you happen to not uh, get this combo then it's likely that, that throughout the game you can't really get this uh, combo anymore yeah so this is a shining tetrite gain four that cannot be used to gain a card hmm okay so i guess you can use it to open bridges hmm. so that's a weird gem yeah because usually you get ether to like buy cards from the supply but this doesn't allow you to buy from the supply okay so this is a summonite gain two ether or you can gain a summonite from this supply pile and place it on top of any allies this card pile oh not bad not bad but of course doing so you might like accidentally screw up uh like the other opponents or the other allies uh you know like deck construction so yeah do be careful with that so this is a trip light core gain three ether that can be used to gain cards okay cool that's the opposite of uh, this so yeah this is all our cards we have two four six we have eight gems five relics and two four six eight nine nine spells so that's actually quite a lot of content uh yeah it is really cool so yeah i guess that's it uh so i'm doing like a short series where I start to unbox all my expansions for Aeon's End. So I have the base game, I have the Legacy of Grave Hole and Legacy game. So I have about four boxes of this. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned and subscribe if you want to know more of this expansion unboxing. Where I just start to uh, show you the contents uh, close up as well as just rainbow in some comments that comes to my mind. So yeah, once again, this is Aeon's End, Buried Secrets, and thanks for watching. Bye bye.